is changing, and so is the way family history is done. With the advent of the digital age and the internet, it is now possible to share information instantly around the world. Digital technology has absolutely revolutionized the way that we are uh, able to do family history now. Uh, we've moved from a microfilm technology to a digital technology, which moved it from a family history center or a library environment all the way to a person's home where they can have access to them uh, any time of day. Research that once required days to accomplish can now be completed in minutes. People can quickly see the records, reach a conclusion, and know what question to ask next. FamilySearch is making its vast collection of genealogical records available online. Billions of images currently stored on microfilm at the Granite Mountain Records Vault are being converted to digital images, a process that will take years to complete. The workhorse behind this massive conversion project is the microfilm scanner. Microfilm rolls are individually loaded and a digital picture taken of each image. Family Search, of course, had a massive microfilm collection, 2.4 million rolls of film. Uh, the challenges in the beginning to convert that now to digital image seemed overwhelming. When we did some of the original estimates of what it would take to do that and some of our preliminary tests, it was going to take us over a century to convert those films to digital images. The state-of-the-art scanning technology could not come close to handling our vast collection. To increase our scanning capacity, we faced two key problems. The first problem was that each roll of film varies in density, sometimes even on the same film. Some records were overexposed, while others were too dark to be readable. So we had to constantly set and reset the scanners. The image, as it's exposed on microfilm, has varying levels of density. That's how you get the dark and the light uh, as the thickness of that microfilm changes when, it, when it's exposed. And those density ranges will change from film to film. The solution to this challenge lies in sophisticated computer algorithms that choose the best exposure level for each image. The computer automatically sets the scanners at the best settings to capture the entire film, then adjusts if necessary to make each individual image lighter or darker. The second key problem was our scanners would skip images, which statistically might not be a problem unless your ancestor is the one we skip. To compensate for this, each operator checked the scan every step of the way, which made the entire process very slow. To address these problems, researchers at FamilySearch, working with scanning companies, developed sophisticated new scanning algorithms used to calculate the location of each document on a roll of film. The whole roll of microfilm is digitally represented into a single image called a ribbon. By scanning that whole roll of film as a single image, then we can apply our best computer vision algorithms on it and, and find, try and find all the images. If frames were missed, they're able to add a new rectangle that says, you've, you've missed something here, let me add that. And so by the time they complete that audit phase, we have captured every frame in that roll of film. These and other new technologies used and developed by FamilySearch enable each operator to process many more films simultaneously in shorter time. The result is that now the entire collection can be digitized in less than 10 years. Converting existing microfilm records is only part of the story. New digital images are captured every day by FamilySearch crews all over the world. These images are stored directly on digital hard drives and tapes and transferred to the Granite Mountain Records Vault. Whether the images are captured digitally or converted from microfilm, one of the challenges facing Family Search is how to preserve these massive amounts of digital data. One of our greatest challenges moving from microfilm to digital technology is preservation. Most people are aware that there isn't a, yet a long-term storage uh, solution for maintaining digital images over time. We know that the life expectancy of digital media is short. DVDs may not last even 10 years. So the key to digital preservation lies in the ability to make a perfect copy. A copy of a copy loses quality on a photocopy machine. In similar fashion, microfilm images lose resolution in the duplication process. With digital technology, however, each copy is a perfect replica of the original. And so, even though digital images must be migrated or copied to new media every few decades, the images can be preserved indefinitely. 
Because digital technology provides the ability to make perfect copies, we can also create copies of the images in two separate vaults, which provides better protection than we currently have with microfilm. Digital technology allows Family Search to digitize, preserve, and share its valuable collection of genealogical records. The strength of this granite mountain reflects the commitment of Family Search to preserving and sharing the records of the world.